Hey, class. Okay, so um, this is uh, still um, Unit 9. This is for Wednesday, May 20th, and this is your part one of three parts. Uh, my information here is here at the top. If you have any questions about uh, content or any of the answers given, you're welcome to email me, and all in my class can... Um, um, obviously message me on WhatsApp because we have we have um, a class uh, group there okay so we're gonna start today um, on page 113 of your student book so that's the book that we use in class it's the one with the um, the blue cover and um, so uh, if you look at page 113, there's a picture at the top, and it shows an apartment. Uh, can you look at the picture, and uh, can you identify some of the things that are uh, wrong in the apartment? Do you see uh, the toilet leaking? It's overflowing with water. The toilet's leaking. The refrigerator needs repairing. There's water under the refrigerator. The sink is leaking. Um, do we see that the window is broken? The one above the sink, the window is broken. And over over here, let me hold on. Let me make my picture bigger. And over here, this is backwards. So it's, okay, we see uh, the stove. We see steam or. Uh, Something coming out of the stove indicating something's wrong there. And we see a uh, broken drawer here. So um, so those are some of the things that we see um, are broken in the apartment. So the um, exercise wants you to um, uh, ask the question and then answer it. Um, and then substitute uh, the words uh, in each to uh, make another question. Okay, so um, I'm gonna show you how we want these done. Whoops, I'm gonna ask my assistant to come join us to do this for me, with me. And um, so the first uh, five things we're gonna do in a positive way. Yes, we're, we can fix them. And then the six through 10 are gonna be no, okay? So Bailey, I will be A and you can be B. So yours doesn't change. Okay. okay, so can you fix the window, please? Yes, of course. Can you fix the window, please? Yes, of course. Okay, number two. Can you repair the refrigerator, please? Yes, of course. Can you repair the refrigerator, please? Yes, of course. Can you unclog the sink? Yes, of course. Can you unclog the sink? Yes, of course. Uh, number four, uh, can you fix the toilet? Yes, of course. Can you do that, man? Yes, of course. <laughs> can you fix the toilet? Yes, of course. Uh, can you repair the oven? Yes, of course. Can you repair the oven? Yes, of course. Okay, so the first six we did positive. Now we're going to do the next uh, six through ten in uh, negative. Uh, would you fix the stove, please? Sorry, I can't right now. Okay, number six. Uh, would you fix the front burner, please? Sorry, I can't right now. Would you fix the front burner, please? Sorry, I can't right now. Would you fix the light, please? Sorry, I can't right now. Would you fix the light, please? Sorry, I can't right now. Number eight, uh, would you repair the cabinet drawer? Sorry, I can't right now. Would you repair the cabinet drawer? Sorry, I can't right now. Number nine, would you uh, repair the lock, please? Sorry, I can't right now. Would you repair the lock, please? Sorry, I can't right now. And number 10, um, would you fix the outlet, please? Sorry, I can't right now. Would you fix the outlet, please? Sorry, I can't right now. 
Thank you, Bailey. <laughs> okay, so um, an outlet is like where you would um, plug things into the wall. So it it's the where you actually do the the plug. There's a little I didn't see it before, but there's a little tiny outlet right here, and there's like that made it look like electrical shocks coming out of it. So um, the the outlet needs repairing apparently. So all right, okay. So part three, once you it says right. What are some problems in your home or a friend's home? Make a list of requests for the landlord. So even if you don't have some things at your home that currently need repairing, you can just make a list of things that you've either had repaired in the past or uh, if you can think of a friend's home that you um, know that needs some repairs. So we're going to make a list. So request for the landlord. Now, you only have a landlord if you live in an apartment or a home that you are renting. You don't really have a landlord if you own the place that you live, okay? So, at my house, let's see, uh, I need them to fix the air conditioner. Um, repair the stove. And, um, hmm, oh, uh, uh, replace the water heater. Okay, so those are some repairs maybe that uh, I've either need to do or I've had done at my house. We're just kind of pretending. So what you would need to do is make your own list. Do not. Do not copy my list. Hector, I'm watching you. Do not copy my list. You need to make your own list. But go ahead and stop the video. Take a few minutes and on a piece of paper, make a request to the landlord. Okay, so now that you have um, made your list for the landlord, what I'd like for you to do is if you have somebody there that you can role play with and that uh, you can practice answering and answering these questions. So if I'm the tenant, the renter, I'm going to say, can you fix the air conditioner, please? And then they can say yes or no. Right? And then I can say, can you repair the stove, please? And then they can give their answer yes or no. And then uh, the third one, can you replace the hot water heater, please? So, uh, then they can say yes or no to that one as well. So, those are, um, so I hope hopefully you have somebody there that you can practice having this conversation with. I'm going to go ahead and pause my video and I'm going to clear the screen and get ready for the next. Okay, before we move on, I, I want to draw your attention to um, the word tenant is. Um, the person who is renting the house or apartment who lives there <sighs> okay okay and the landlord like I said before is uh, the person you're renting from They, they're the owner, okay? They're the people that you would pay rent to, okay? So um, if you need to, go ahead and pause the video and write down uh, those definitions. And then I'll pause mine and get ready for the next. Okay, we're going to move on to page uh, 114 of the student book. We're going to, you know, stay with the student book today. Um, this is um, 
The first thing I want you to do is review the grammar chart at the top of the page. And um, when it's asking the questions, which plumbing service do you recommend? Which plumbing service does he recommend? Which plumbing service do they recommend? So this is the same as before with uh, do and does. So it would be, I do, we do, they do, he and she does. So the, that doesn't change. We've covered that before. So this is, um, that part is not new material. So let's look at uh, how we would answer those questions. Um, which plumbing service do you recommend? The answer would be, someone answering you would say, I recommend Purdy's Plumbing. So if you said, which plumbing service does he recommend? You would say, he recommends Purdy's Plumbing. And if you say, which plumbing service do they recommend? They recommend Purdy's Plumbing. So uh, you see how if it's he or she, we're going to say recommends. And the others is just recommend. Okay. There's also a QR reader there. So um, you're able to scan it. And there's a, a video that will show you um, uh <clears throat> some more about the practicing the grammar so we can move on um, to uh, part two now I want to tell you that if you're going to hire like a plumber or electrician um, you the, some of them are licensed and you can ask to see their license so you always want to have uh, hire someone who is a uh, licensed and insured that means they've been properly trained they've got the right accreditation they've got insurance for anything that goes wrong while they're doing their repair um so you always when you hire um a contractor you always want to make sure that they are licensed and insured and you want and if you need to you can always ask them um uh, to see those okay so let's go ahead and scroll down we see uh what looks like uh two uh business cards we see harris's plumbing service and we see brown's plumbing service right now we're going to uh, complete these conversations uh it says a complete the conversation and use which and the simple present so last chapter we were using simple past this time we're using this chapter we're going to talk in the present tense what's happening right now okay so number one says you recommend so you would make the sentence which plumbing service do you recommend harrison's or brown's and you're given the word cheaper so you would make the sentence i recommend brown's plumbing service because it's cheaper. How do we know it's cheaper? We look up here at the business card. Harrison's is $100 an hour and Brown's is $50 an hour. So we know that Brown is going to be the cheaper plumbing service. So right now I would like for you to go ahead and stop the video, uh, complete uh, the sentences two through six and come back and we will um, cover them together. If you want, you can go ahead and use your QR reader and listen to them as you transcribe. Um, and then when you come back, I will, um, we will play them together <clears throat> or I will go over them together. Okay. So you should have stopped the video. You should have completed, uh, uh, practiced, uh, two. And so we're going to write some sentences together. So number 2A, it says, um, we got he recommends. So we're going to say, which plumbing service does he? Does it he recommend? Okay, which pl 
plumbing service does he recommend? So uh, we're going to part B, the answer. Um, we see we're given fast. So he recommends Harrison's. Is it Harrison's? Harrison's because it's faster. How do we know it's faster? Let's look up here at the um, the um, business cards and we see that they're uh, a four bullet points, and under Harrison Harrison's, we see fast. We don't see that with Brown. So that's how we know we're going to use Harrison's if we want fast service. So let's look at number three. We're given the words they recommend. So we're going to say which plumbing service. Okay, which plumbing service do they recommend? Just like in our writing with paragraphs and these answers, we're going to use the words from the question in the answer. So which plumbing service do they recommend? We're going to say they recommend Browns because it's licensed. How do we know it's licensed? If we look up here, we uh, at the um, going back once again to the business cards, we see that they are licensed and they have insurance. So that's a good thing. So for that one, we're going to use um, Browns. Number four, which plumbing service does she recommend? And she recommends Brown because it's insured. Once again, we see that Browns are uh, licensed and insured. All right. So go ahead and stop your video if you need to and make corrections on those because I'm going to erase my screen and make room for um, numbers five and six. Okay, number five is we're given he recommend, so which, Oh, I'm sorry. It says they recommend. I'm sorry. So we're going to say which plumbing service do they recommend? Okay. And the question is going to say we're looking for experience. So they recommend. Who? Harris. Harrison's. Because if we look up there, we can say, we see that it says um, 30 years of experience and Brown only has 15. So Harrison's has more experience than Brown. Okay. And last one, number six. He recommends, so which plumbing service does he recommend? And who does he recommend? Uh, who's open 24 hours a day? 
we look at Harrison's and we see open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So he recommends. All right, so um, <clears throat> there's your answers for uh, five and six. Um, no need to stop your video because we're, we're done. Um, if you um, have viewed this video, please leave your name in the comments so that you can get credit for having attended this class. Um, you will need to leave your name in the comments after every video you view. Okay, so I will see you in just a minute for part two.